Hello folks. Today I wanted to show a um, thing I've had in my possession for quite a while but never had the opportunity to show because um, up until very recently I did not have a tripod but now that I do here it is. It's a Curta mechanical calculator. Very similar to the um, original owner type devices um, like the ones we've been seeing, the Walter etc. It uh, works by repeatedly adding numbers together in um, variable tens position. You can see here the black segment being the uh, accumulator register, the uh, white segment being the quotient or counter register, another one that counts the amount of revolutions we do. Setting the thing is done using these sliders here on the side. Let's see if you can see. You see the number changing there to reflect the position of the uh, little... I don't know the technical term, so I will just call it doodad. Maybe it's a slider. <coughs> Over here we have a button that reverses the uh, rotation of the counter register. So for instance if we take a look it says, right now it says um, 10, so if I make a plus rotation it will say 20 because we're on the second position as uh, pointed to by this arrow here. Now if I were to flip the switch and do another plus rotation, you'll see that the uh, quotient register reduces instead. Now the curta is um, very interesting little piece of um, engineering given that it performs all of the mathematics in a very complex little package. So let's add something together, shall we? Just something like that. 496. I'll, turn, I'll try to make it visible as it happens. And you can see it adds stuff together. But the really cool part comes when subtracting. What you do is to subtract, so you take the lever, pull it upwards, exposing this thingy here, and turning it into subtraction mode, which is actually adding the tenths complement of all the numbers and uh, discarding the final carry. So what we end up with is a movement that looks like this. You can see the sort of the wave traversing as the numbers are getting added together. And you see here we're in an underflow at the moment. Excuse me, it's hard to concentrate while also uh, showing you in a way that's visible. Uh, and also I can't see very well because I'm looking at this tiny little screen. Clearing the thing is done because this upper part, the carriage, lifts up and can rotate and all sorts of fancy things. But what you do is you lift it up, and you take this clearing ring here, rotate it around and you see all zeros. So. If we try doing a simple multiplication, say number of uh, number of days in uh, a number of minutes in a year, let's say. So we know the number of minutes in a day is uh, one thousand four hundred and forty, based on the amount of times I've been working out that very same problem. So. A year has uh, 365 days, so just as before, we start by trying to set the um, count register. We'll move the clearing lever into the way, apparently. But yes, you can see here in the count register. One, two, three, four, five, and rotate it once and do subtractions in order to shortcut the thing. Seven, 
then six. Turn it once more. Rotate. One, two, three. So there we have it. We have in this register here, 365. And we have here, 525,600 500, minutes in a year. I think we've uh, tried this calculation before. And we clear the thing. So as you can see, it's just a regular old mechanical calculator, although in a quite remarkable uh, little package that's uh, very handy. And I wish I had a proper carrying box for this thing so I could take it with me when I'm out and about, because I absolutely love this thing. It's very pretty, it feels heavy, it has just has this sort of feeling of quality you get. You can see here at the bottom, made in Liechtenstein by Contina Limited Oren. Um, I also like the serial number on it, 40,500. It's a very clean number, although maybe that just tells people that I'm a numbers nerd. I think we can all appreciate a clean number every now and then. And put the clearing ring away. And I stole it in the box. This was actually handmade by the guy I bought it from. And I think as far as boxes go, it's probably one of my favorites. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed.